In this video, we're going to take a look at creating a custom hand rig for a character using the new custom properties feature inside of Motion Builder 6. Essentially, we're going to be creating a list of sliders that we can use to control individual finger movement rather than having to grab an FK effector and rotate it or an IK effector and translate it around. That's right, and in the end, this is going to greatly speed up an animator when it comes to animating a character's hand. Exactly. It's going to facilitate a much easier workflow. Now, before we get started, there are some things that we need to get out of the way. Uh, this rig is going to be broken up over several different videos. That's uh, right. You guys are going to find that there's a lot of steps involved in getting the rig put together. Now, of course, once it's put together, the uh, the awards are the rewards are great. Absolutely. But um, but getting to that point, right? Mm -hmm. You know, it's a lot of steps involved. Right. So if we put all these steps in one video, then it, it'd be very easy to lose focus. Now these are broke up into to easy to follow steps. So what we're going to do is we're going to split it up into five different videos. Mm -hmm. um, so that's number one. Number two. We are not going to do both hands. Right. Only one. I mean, you know, you want to do the other hand, you just simply <laughs> rewatch the video, substitute the word left for right, and, and you're good to go. You're good to go. And finally, we're not going to create every possible slider combination for controlling every combination of finger right. gestures that you can think right. of. There's a lot of gestures I could I could think of. But uh, so if you're watching the video at some point and you think, you know, they didn't add uh, the the thumb wiggle slider or whatever. Um, my finger bend back or whatever. Yeah, anything. Just we, so we're going to have shown you guys enough that you will, without a doubt, have a problem, no problem at all, following along or create, excuse me, creating your own. Absolutely. So we're going to get you started. That's right. So uh, to get started, let's go ahead and bring a character into the scene. Because it's kind of important that you have a character for... It, it would be a nice, solid place and to start. And of course, Zach has this thing for Mia, so here she comes. I, I have a crush on her. I yes, know. I know. Sorry, I we, can't We all it. know. It's okay. So uh, we'll go ahead and frame up on her wrist effector. I'm going to be placing all of my finger controls here on the wrist effector because this is going to be the primary effector for hand and arm animation. And it'd be nice to have all of my custom properties centralized right well, here. Well, when an animator is animating a character's arm, that's basically what they grab most of the time. Exactly. Uh, and many of the rigs that I've built in the past in several different applications... All of the finger controls are located yeah, right Yeah, we're here. just centralizing all of them. So basically all of the left finger controls would go on the left wrist effector, and all the right would go on the right wrist effector. There you go. So uh, there are some, are some things I don't need to see here in the view. So uh, we'll go under Show, and I'll switch off the skeleton, and uh, I'll switch off floor contacts as well. We don't need them. And uh, let's go ahead and begin by adding in our custom attributes, which will be the primary focus of this video uh, in our series. So I'll go under Properties. And we'll click Customize. And, of course, here's where I can add all of my custom properties. Now, what properties are we going to need? We need individual curling ability for each finger. So uh, index, middle, ring, pinky, and thumb. I'd like to add the ability to swivel the thumb left and right, say, if you, like you're playing your favorite video game console. Uh, I would like a single slider that will curl all four of the fingers simultaneously. It's so finger spread as well. Well, we're going to get, yeah, I'd like to add finger spread so I can spread all the fingers apart and pull them together, too. And then curl them all. And then curl <laughs> them all. Yeah, you can just in any order you like, it's there all good. Go. And uh, really, that's about it for the control, but I would also like a slider to enable these sliders all at once. Right. Because what I'm going to be doing with the sliders, essentially, is grabbing the FK effectors. So with the basically you'd be able to blend back to IK then. That's right. Oh, and uh, nice. it would be nice to have a single slider that would blend the whole hand, all five of the fingers or all four fingers and the thumb, <laughs> between FK and IK rather than having to grab an individual finger and grab my reach, translate, and reach, rotate, and move those myself. Yeah, that would be cool. So uh, we're going to have several different sliders. Now to get started, uh, of course I've already got my custom properties window open. I'm going to be adding a reel. Now, the order in which uh, you create these uh, is going to be important. You want to keep things nice and flowing. So the first attribute I will create, or the first property I'll create, will be slider enable. And I'll leave this at 0 to 100 because it's going to be a percentage value. Now, uh, we'll press enter here, and you'll see slider enable pop right up. Now, I'll add another reel, and this will be my index curl property. I get to show off my awesome typing skills. <laughs> Do you like that? So Very nice. Yeah. Index curl. I'm going to give this, just for simplicity's sake, a minimum of zero and a maximum of 90 degrees of rotation. And where'd you come up with the 90 from? Uh, just a, a 90 degree angle, a, a right angle. That's now that doesn't it. mean in the end that we're limited to that. Absolutely not. You can put a multiplier on any one knuckle if you need it to rotate uh, more or less. Right. Multiplier. 
Don't yeah. worry, guys. That's coming up when we get into the expression. Exactly. Don't worry <laughs> about it. Uh, basically, you can take the value and multiply it by a factor. Uh, That's right. Say you give it 1.2 times multiplication for the rotation, so you're rotating a little more. So zero to nine is just a good base starting point. I like to use it as a base. Yeah. And uh, from there on, we can really make it any, you know, into anything. Absolutely. So uh, with index curl selected, I'll just hit the duplicate button down here, so it duplicates my property. Notice I have index curl one with the same min and max values, so I will just change this to middle curl, and I'll make sure middle curl is selected and hit duplicate. We'll switch down to middle curl one, and we'll name this ring curl, and we'll hit duplicate and switch down to ring curl one, and of course this is going to be pinky curl. Mm -hmm duplicate again and we will have our thumb curl attribute very fast creation of properties now from here I want thumb swivel and I'm going to change my values here I'm going to go to a negative 20 degrees so I kind of rotate my thumb a little bit higher than my palm if you were to hold your hand flat out in front of you with the palm down and pull your thumb up into the air as high as you can we'll call that about 20 degrees and then pushing it down, we'll call that a positive 60. And of course, we can come back, if we want, we can even change the values of the sliders if we feel we need to. This is all very customizable. So I recommend, if you've never done this before, just throw in some, uh, some arbitrary values or use the values that I've suggested here. And then if you find you need more or less rotation, come back and change the values first, then start uh, adding multipliers in your expressions, which we'll talk about later. That's right. So with a uh, thumb swivel in place, I'll go ahead and add a finger spread attribute. So uh, I'll just add a new reel for this. We'll come down and select it, and we'll call this finger spread. Now I'm going to add, again, what's going to look like an arbitrary value here that I'm getting mostly because I, I've done this a few times before. Again, I stress that if you need to make tweaks, you can always change the values of these numbers later. We'll go from a value of negative 8 degrees of rotation to positive 30. Again, hold your hand out in front of you, palm facing the yeah. floor. And have your hand relaxed. And you'll notice your fingers, uh, by default, are not together. They're, they're apart just a the little bit. The default setting the of default my setting hand. The default setting of the human hand. <laughs> That's, That's right. So you can pull your fingers together. But you could, that yeah, motion that's not is less, less than yeah. if you were to take your fingers and spread them all out. Right. That is a why, lot we've, more got rotation why we've got a small negative number for the minimum value. Exactly. So uh, that's going to be just about everything we need. There is one more attribute that I'd like, so I'll add a new reel, and we'll say all fingers curl. I would like a slider that will rotate all four fingers simultaneously, not including the thumb. So we'll call this all fingers curl. And we'll also give this a uh, 0 to 90, just like the fingers themselves. So this will be all of the properties that I need. We can go ahead and close this at this time. And really, that's everything that I wanted to cover just in this particular part of the video. We have all of our sliders in place. Of course, right now they don't do anything. No. In the next video, we're going to be hooking these up using an expressions constraint. So that's going to wrap it up for this video. Thanks a lot.